Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. We're gonna take a look at all the major currencies to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week. Let's go. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and of course do not forget to hit that like button for me okay. So let's get started with uh, this week's charts. Uh, as usual we will take a look at the Dixie to get the overall trend on the dollar and we see that last week uh, the, the dollar been a bearish so we are in a continuation bearish movement and uh, I've been saying for a while now if you're watching my overviews um, you've been hearing me saying that if we break below this structure here we probably gonna see the dollar testing these levels down here at around the 8850 uh, area and that seems to be the case um, uh, right now and we still uh, seeing this uh, bearish continuation. Checking the daily chart we see also that last week we had a break below this um, previous uh, structure here and uh, there was a continuation and on Friday we've got a little bit of an inside bar day. Going down the four hour time frame we see it more clearly. We had this little range that got broken. We had a textbook retest and continuation and yet another structure got broken with a retest and potential continuation even for next week. Now keep in mind next week is a uh, very slow trading week. If you check the <laughs> news calendar there is nothing uh, at all on the major events and um, everything is closed from uh, Thursday. So um, most of the big money um, uh, institutions and all that they are already done trading so it's gonna be slow but I'm doing these videos anyway. Uh, checking the dollar, my plan here on the dollar is that we might see continuation since, uh, let's go to the daily time frame on that one, since the dollar been um, it, uh, making a nice push to the upside after the retest of this buy level area that I told you about uh, before the move did happen and uh, we had this nice bounce above the 200 moving average, a retest and then a continuation. I'm looking now to see if gold gonna touch the top of the channel and uh, potentially also these highs here. Now uh, if gold to continue higher they need to break above these previous highs, give us another higher low and then continuation. But short term term trade and since it is a slow week next week I think you could look at something like this. So we had this uh, nice impulse we're having a correction or some bullish flag if uh, it gets broken then you have a little bit of a move to the upside to the top of the channel so again uh, be um, uh, careful on your uh, targets uh, they, they i think they need to be uh, small targets next week because of the slowing uh, in trading Oil uh, still bullish and I'm still expecting oil to at least touch the 50. Uh, there is not much left to do so as you see if we look uh, here on the weekly time frame. Not much left until uh, this market reached the 50 and the next uh, real uh, high we have here or the next uh, swing high we have here is at around 55. But the 50 is an interesting level. It was a previous support and it might act now as potential resistance. So continuation to the upside until 50 to then start looking for a potential rotation down. The, the, the um, divergence on the RSI been uh, there for a while, a bearish divergence on the four hour time frame. And um, yeah, as far as we are inside this channel, we look to buy the bottom of the channel, looking for continuation move all the way to 50. Then if you're gonna short oil, you need to wait for uh, oil to break below the low of the channel to then start look for that uh, rotation to the downside. EURUSD still bullish looking on the weekly time frame we know that we are at a very interesting level looking left so we've tested all these levels here major areas on the weekly time frame and now the price uh, did enter this uh, trouble level uh, checking this uh, whole um, area here we see that we might start having trouble already or we might see the euro testing the highs. In my opinion why should uh, the bulls stop uh, down here I think they might try to push harder to tag these highs at least. So after this uh, very strong uh, 
push to the upside. We had this um, nice correction and a little bit of a consolidation and then a breakout. So since this area got broken, I think we might see continuation to the upside. The big question, how big of a correction we're going to get before those continuation. Checking the daily chart here, we see after this break, we had like uh, a week or so uh, consolidation to then see a breakout. Uh, the RSI is at the oversold, but that is not enough. Uh, as a sell signal so as far as we are still making higher highs and higher lows i think we might still look for continuation next level of interest going to be this broken structure here as a potential area at around 1.2170 that could be a potential uh, buy area as far as uh, this is the case and we keep trending to the upside like this if you draw a trend line like this and we're still above it you should be looking to buy those uh, dips uh, for now. Sterling USD also uh, bullish. Checking the weekly time frame, we did not have a weekly close above these previous highs yet, looking left. But uh, on the daily, we had actually on uh, Thursday a break and close above these previous highs on the daily chart. And if we go down to the four hour time frame, we see it clearly after this gap up, we had this nice. A continuation move another retest and break to the upside now where the price did test uh, last uh, friday down here is a uh, level of interest as far as this holding it could be the level to look for a continuation move at or if we see a strong break to the downside and then they fail to make a new high if that would be the case then we might see a um, continuation back down to close this uh, gap we still have uh, from uh, the start of the last week so keep that in mind guys and uh, use this 200 moving average on the four hour as your filter as far as the market is above that it is still going to be a bullish market usd JP also bearish uh, checking the weekly time frame we see that with the market did dip below this previous low to then push back up a little bit um, again at the monthly s1 and uh, if this market to um, keep uh, being uh, bearish next market objective gonna be at around 100 level down here looking left uh, on the daily time frame we had a close on thursday below previous lows here so this level is broken which means we should keep looking to sell these markets as far as there is no new um trend to the upside as uh, higher highs and higher lows like this start happening then it is uh, bearish especially if we see a break and close below these previous lows that means uh, the 100 is the next market objective on usd uh, jappy so keep an eye on uh, that as well um, usd chief um Checking the weekly time frame, we, uh, if we look left, we see that the next market objective should be to reach these levels down here. And uh, looking good for the bears for now, after this break, we have these continuation move. And um, if we look on the daily time frame, we see that things are slowing down. As you see here, they're very small bodied candles. Uh, the big question, why should they stop without any level um, of uh, structure? So. Uh, even though we have a slowdown, uh, I think uh, we might see continuation. But if that would not be the case and we start having a correction, the best sell level on this market going to be this broken structure here. If that uh, area got retested, we look for continuation. Will that happen next week? I'm not sure about that. But when and if that happened, that is uh, the area to start look for a potential sell. For our time frame, we have this little channel and with um, a uh, bullish divergence on the RSI. So the four hour time frame still also bearish, but we start having some bullish divergence. But all in all, if this get broken, we gonna see continuation to the downside without a big correction. USD CAD is a little bit different uh, than the rest. As you see, USD CAD did also reach a, an area of interest looking left on the weekly time frame. Uh, the week before we had a, um, a, um, a spinning top candle and uh, last week was uh, also a um, rejection candle with a uh, bullish close. So uh, this one is uh, more like uh, doing some kind of a bottom here. After this uh, break to the downside, we had this little range here that got broken. The market broke lower, could not enter back, could not enter back. But then we start seeing this little range here getting established without a break lower. And on Friday, we had a nice uh, move back to the top of the, uh, the channel. And it was the first time we see the USD CAD closing above the 200 moving average on the one hour since um, 
since um, the 24th of November, we had a retest here that failed. So this is the first time we see a break above this 200 moving average. And the question is if we're going to see uh, yet another higher low and some kind of a rotation back to the upside on this market. So USD CAD is the only one that's showing signals of potential rotation back up. And uh, that's uh, what I'm watching. I want to see this market pushing further up to then give us a retest. If the retest failed to enter back inside this lower range, I'm looking for some kind of a short term correction to the upside on uh, this market. Aussie USD still bullish, checking the weekly time frame. We see that the next uh, market objective uh, could be this uh, previous area up here. Uh, and as you see, not much left to reach that level. Uh, a little bit of a trouble uh, up here could be uh, this area giving us a little bit of trouble. But all in all, it is still a bullish market with a good momentum. And uh, even on the daily, you see it clearly. We keep seeing uh, the market pushing higher. For our time frame, we've been trading inside this um, little channel here to then get more momentum, break out of the channel, retest the top of the channel and a continuation. So for now, uh, I think uh, the top of the channel and this broken structure could be the level for the bulls to defend for the continuation. And if they fail to do so, the next level of interest going to be at the bottom of this uh, old channel here as a potential buy area so those are the levels i'm watching as for now still looking to uh, buy only until we start seeing a bigger reversal on this market new zealand usd same scenario here looking left on the weekly time frame we uh, see this market to start uh, retest these areas and potentially the tops of this uh, move as well uh, going down to the daily time frame we see that we had a nice uh, break above here and uh, for more upside i'm looking now for this retest to the top if it's gonna hold and then a continuation move to the upside toward the 0 0.72 uh, uh, area that is a pretty interesting uh, psychological level as well and since this market broke higher it is a good buy area to change my bias here i want to see this market breaking below this range holding below it to then start looking for a bigger reversal or a bigger correction to the downside as you see on the daily time frame since we broke this whole area here uh, we have no real uh, retest of that level so a rotation back down toward this area is possible but to start shorting this market you need to see this level down here broken to start shorting this market toward this area before the continuation move so uh, yeah that was it for this week guys merry christmas for all of you and i hope you um, have a great uh, trading uh, year next year uh, i think i will see you also before the new year but for now have a great christmas and uh, see you next week everyone bye bye